Hello and welcome everybody to 1957. Now in 1957, some interesting things happened, some more memorable than others. For example, do you remember? I don't. One Elvis Presley purchased a mansion. Do you remember what he called his mansion? Graceland. It was pretty interesting. But I didn't know that happened in 1957. Another one that happened in 1957 that everybody knows about, Sputnik. Everybody knows about Sputnik, 1957, the beginning of the Space Age, which has been around for more than 50 years. It's been a long time. It's an old age, this Space Age. And we celebrated the 21st Masters. Uh, Doug Ford won. Sam Sneed took second. Real, some really big names in that lineup. And McGregor came out with this, the P40W. Persimmon wood. Now this has been presented to me as one of the best persimmon woods ever made by more than one person. But we're going to find out if it's as good as it's cracked up to be. Let's get this on the review table and have a closer look. So as a warning to anybody who's interested in collecting persimmons, this is a problem that I've had with my moves is some of them will crack. Like here's, this is the P40W, this is the four wood. You can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my camera. I might have to take pictures, but there's a crack coming from under the sole plate all the way across the toe. Can you see that crack coming all the way across the toe, all the way across the crown? Is that showing up? It comes all the way across the crown to this point right here. And look, there's another crack right here, like this whole piece of wood right here is just gonna flake off. Really sad to see something like that, you know, just all that damage. And obviously, you know, it looks like it's intact, but I wouldn't swing this on the range it's just with that crack going all the way through the entire head. You know, as you move, the humidity changes, the temperature changes in the moving truck. I don't have control over that. Can't control everything in life. Luckily, the driver is in much better shape, so I could take that out and hit it. So identifying features of the 1957 P40W, first thing you'll notice is the angel-shaped sole plate. But if you look closely here on the toe, you can see p 40W in red here on the toe in the wood. And then on the sole plate, it says Super Iomatic, little flourish right here, McGregor Turney, one, two, three, four, five screws on the sole plate, and then one additional screw for the shaft. Recognizable, stands out a little bit. You can see it is pinned right there. Registration number on the hosel. We spin around the skirt, you'll notice the aft portion, we have the weight, and then nothing on the toe. The grooves are one, four, one pattern, six screw with a pretty wide, this is a pretty large insert. I like how large this insert is. And then we have the red, kind of like a brick red, white, red insert with this little triangle cutout into the crown, which says Tony Penna in red. Absolutely lovely, beautiful looking wood right here. Let's spin up the shaft here. You can see the whipping right here. We spin up to a stepped shaft. We have the McGregor label right here, a red label. True temper, so it says McGregor, true temper, turny, branded shaft. This I just put the sticker on to remind me of the year. And then we have this lovely leather three-toned grip. Look at this lovely wrap, maroon, white, black. The butt cap is unfortunately missing. Absolutely lovely, lovely solid persimmon. And it's in good shape, so that means we can take this out on the range and see how it feels.
this feels really good on the range when you connect. I don't always hit it on the screws, if you know what I mean. So these are all different individuals when we're talking about it, okay? Each one can feel very different. It's like when you go to your friend's house, all right? And these pe some, some people, they're gonna to totally call me out on this video. They have this like, everything needs to be symmetrical. We're gonna make everything exactly the same. And so they put two soap dispensers at the sink. And so you're there to wash your hands for dinner and you look and they're exactly the same. They're like these little porcelain like soap dispensers. And you're like one's soap and one's not going to be soap. And sure enough, you know, it's, all right, maybe the one on the right, oh, it's the most powerful smelling potpourri lotion I've ever smelled in my life and it's on my hands now. And so you try to scrub it off, but you end up eating dinner and your dinner tastes like flowers. Thanks a lot, Miss Symmetrical. Uh, so you don't know what you have until you try it, okay? That's like these. You don't know what it's gonna feel like until you try it. Just if I can come out here and say, this is amazing, this one feels great and I can go, you know, to a different state, somebody can hand me one of these and I can try it and just be like, wow, this feels completely different because people modify the weights. They put weights under the sole plate so you can't see them. People will refinish them and they just take a power sander, zing, and then it's two degrees loft difference. You know, people just do whatever they want with these clubs and they're more than 60, what, 65 years old. So it's really hard to know exactly how it's gonna feel until you try it. So each one's an individual, so as a whole, it's hard for me to make a review saying, oh, all of these are gonna be amazing because they're not all gonna be amazing for you. All right, now that said, where does this fall? McGregor made some great clubs in the 50s. Where does this one fall? Let me think about this. So we're gonna sort this out. So the four that I'm thinking of that come to mind are the M85, the 945, the M09 LFF, and this, the P40W, okay? So the M09 is, has a really small footprint, I don't like it, just to be honest. I know it has a deep face, but I don't know. Uh, the M85, okay, let me think. My favorite one, I can tell you right now, is the 945. That one feels amazing. If I made a video about that one, I need to check. That's, this, to me, that's my favorite. The M85, one, I have two sets. One of them feels really good. The other one is uh, ooh, dicey at best. I think I like this more than the M85. This is number two on my list, 945, P40, M85, M09, LFF. As far as clubs I like to hit. Yeah, that's the order. That's the order I want. Okay, so this is number two on the list, but again, each one's an individual. That list can, that, you know, list can change next week. At this moment, this is that's what I feel. So the other problem with this is that it does everything. It meets my needs of like, I want to collect. I just want to have this. I don't care about value. I'm not into investing, you know, clubs. I'm like, oh, I want this. I want to keep it because it's awesome. You know, I, I want it. And then there's also this like, but I want to go play it. But if I go play it, am I going to damage it? Am I going to crack it? Am I going to ruin it? Duffing around on my local course. I don't want that. And so I, I'm kind of torn. I don't know what to do with this one. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Great. If you can, so to me, if you can find one of these at an affordable price that's reasonable, it looks good, you can try it. I would encourage you to try it. I like these a lot. A lot. Up there. They're, they're way up there for me. As far as like this individual, I'd rank it, you know, slightly below the 945 that I have. So I'm excited to read your comments. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I offer general support on Patreon. You can also support this channel by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.